Hello friends, this video straight lines part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight lines part 1. Now let's discuss some conditions for parallelism of line in terms of their slope. So if line L1 is parallel to L2, so we say that if line L1 and L2, they are two lines and we say that these lines are parallel, that means these angles are equal, correct? That's what it written here. That means A is equal to B. Alpha is equal to beta. So if both this angle or both this line has equal inclination with X axis, then these lines are said to be parallel. So in that case, we'll say A is equal to B. If A is equal to B, we can also say tan A is equal to tan B. Correct? If tan A is equal to tan B, we can also say M1 is equal to M2. Why? Because tan A tan theta is nothing but slope. So we can say that if slopes of two lines are same, that means these two lines are parallel. Correct? If for two lines, slopes are same, that means two lines are parallel. Now we'll see one condition for perpendicularity of lines in terms of their slopes. So here we see these two lines are perpendicular. Now if this is alpha, this is beta. So now we have to derive the relationship between alpha and beta. So this is beta, so this will be 180 minus beta. Correct? Because this is straight line. This is beta, this is 180 minus beta. This is 90, this is also 90, vertical angle, both are same. So this is nothing but 90 degree. Let's add all this angle of this triangle so that we get alpha. Right here, we'll get alpha plus this is alpha plus 90 degree plus 180 degree minus beta. So all these three angles total is nothing but 180 degree. You cancel this. So what you get? Beta. Let's suppose beta. Beta is equal to alpha plus 90 degree. This is what we get here. Beta is equal to 90 plus alpha. If this is 90 degree, so we got this relation. Now, since beta is equal to 90 plus alpha, we can say tan tan both sides. So we can say tan beta is equal to tan of alpha plus 90 degree. That's what we have done here. And tan alpha plus 90 degree is equal to nothing but minus of cot of alpha. And that is nothing but minus 1 by tan. So tan beta is equal to minus 1 by tan alpha or we can say if tan beta into tan alpha is equal to minus 1 then that means both the lines are perpendicular and we know that tan beta is equal to m of m of l2 m2 slope of l2 and tan alpha is slope of line 1. So if, if product of slope of two lines is equal to minus 1 that means these two lines are perpendicular if two for two lines if the slopes are equal it is m1 is equal to m2 that means both the lines are parallel if for two lines slopes product is equal to minus 1 then we can say that these two lines are perpendicular let's take my example of perpendicularity so here it says that line through points minus 2, 6 and 4, 8 is perpendicular to line through points 8, 12 and x, 24. Find the value of x. So let's, let's draw two lines. This is line 1. Line 2. Now we are told that these lines are perpendicular. Let's just put the points, we can put anything, 2 comma 6, this one, this is 4 comma 8, 8 comma 12, and this is x comma 24. We could have plotted using the proper x, y axis also, but that is not required, doesn't make sense for us to waste time on that. So we have just plotted two lines, and this is the coordinates. This is line 1, and this is line now slope of 
line one is nothing but m one, and m one is nothing but y two minus y one by x two minus x one. So here, this is y two, this is y one, this is x one, this is x two. So what we get is y two minus y one that is eight minus six by four minus minus two. That is two by six. That is one by. This is slope of line one. Similarly, slope of line two is also same thing. Y two minus y one by x two minus x one. So what we get here is, let's suppose this one. So we'll subtract twenty four by twelve. Twenty four minus twelve, and this becomes x minus eight. Why have we done like this? So we have assumed this is y two, this is y one, this is x two, and this is x one. So we can assume any way as per our convenience, not an issue. But just I assume that way. So this becomes twelve by x minus. Now we know that for lines to be per perpendicular, m one into m two should be equal to minus one, or One by three into twelve by x minus eight is equal to minus one. Correct. Three twelve cancel. So what we get is x minus eight is equal to minus four, or we get x is equal to eight minus four is equal to four. So the value of x is four. Very simple. What we have done, we have drawn this line. We have found the slopes. In fact, this was not required. Just since we are learning uh, straight lines, we are drawing this. But once we become experienced in this, we we did not draw these lines. We we found slope of line M one. We found slope of line M two. We multiplied the slopes, and we told that since these lines are perpendicular, the product of slopes should be equal to minus one. And then we equated this equation. To get the value of x, and value of x came out to be four. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more.